So we're at a farm now. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Sure. Thank God you're okay. Who says? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You wouldn't have made it back without Lee. You've brought a couple guests. We... Oh, your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel, Herschel. Green. I wonder if this is... This is probably the Herschel from, like... <sighs> How'd this happen? Uh... Car accident. Car accident. That's so... Where were you headed before the car accident? Um... Out of Atlanta, I guess. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Ooh. Nobody. Nobody. Is that yeah. so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I think so. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Man, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. You're all fine. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. But, but about Herschel, I think he's, I think he's in the comic book and in the TV series, so I'm guessing this kind of is like a place where the it this game kind of like comes comes in contact with the uh uh manure it kind of comes in contact with a comic manure? book manure like when a horse plops just like that yeah <laughs> i missed my mom and dad i bet clem how far is savannah pretty far 
Oh, okay. That's a flashback to what he did to get himself arrested or I don't know. I don't know if he's an innocent though, so maybe it was I don't know. We'll find out probably in, eventually in the next couple of episodes when they come out. Hey, get up. Who's this? Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Awesome. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Okay. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I wonder why Lee and the other guy that just went to the, towards the truck, like, why didn't they volunteer to come and help him build the fence? Is there anything going on in the barn? Nope. Be sure to check with everyone you met so far. Okay. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, no kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Well, how's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Mm. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Okay. I guess we'll talk to... You have such Clementine. Are you having a nice time with Katya Clementine? <clears throat> yeah. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Okay. Yeah. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna 
drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Yep. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sounds good. Let's go talk to Herschel. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh... I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers. Well, I couldn't tell him that I was in the car with a police officer, because then yours. he wanted when I was doing a police officer, he thought I was Whatever a criminal, are, that wouldn't be good. You did. Keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Uh oh. Go! I'll get my gun! Help him out. Wow. 
Wow. What am I supposed to do? Push it, I guess. Come on. No. Kenny's pretty selfish, he wouldn't even help. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I <sighs> He's dead. Uh, I'll blame on myself. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. I didn't want to blame it on go Kennedy out. because I don't. Want, I want to have a good relationship with him. It's gonna drive me to wherever he's going. You know. That ride to make it if you want it. I'll take it. Gas. Well, this is as far as we're going. Mm. Then it's far enough. Look. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh oh. Fuck! Doesn't have any legs. Who's that? Ooh, where did she come from? Run! 